No disrespect to Durham, it's a lovely city. It was the travelling which proved horrendous and which reflected very badly upon our railways. I was up at 6am and over breakfast checked the BBC teletext travel news to discover that the Tyne Valley Line, which was part of my route, was closed between Hexham and Newcastle because of vandalism. I anticipated rail replacement buses, which would be less comfortable than the train and slower, possibly causing me to miss my connection at Newcastle. Having seen reports of cancellations on ScotRail, I went on to real-time trains to check the progress of my service from Glasgow to Carlisle, only to discover that it didn't appear to exist. Timetable changes have been taking place recently, and it looked as though the 0901 service from Dumfries to Carlisle had been abolished. A curious choice for a popular busy service, and the first through train of the day from Glasgow. ScotRail's website, however, showed a good service along the route, and the app on my mobile phone was offering a ticket on the 0901 service. When I tried to purchase the ticket, it refused to let me buy it. I drove into Dumfries and went to the booking office, where I told the clerk that the 0901 didn't seem to be running. He assured me that it was, and sold me a day return ticket to Carlisle. I parked my car and went to sit on the platform, where the electronic notice board showed the 0901 running on time. At 0902, an announcement was made that the service was cancelled, something which real-time trains had been aware of for almost two hours. I had to dash back to my car, do a frantic drive to Carlisle, and then face the nightmare of finding a parking spot at the station. I did at least manage to catch the 1023 Newcastle train, on which I was pre-booked. Our journey was terminated at Hexham, where we were directed across the footbridge and outside the station to wait for an onward bus to Newcastle. After a lengthy wait, someone went, someone went back into the station to make inquiries, only to be told that no buses had operated all morning, and we would simply have to wait until the train managed to make its way through from Newcastle. By now, I was so far behind schedule that I seriously considered abandoning the whole day and taking the first available train back to Carlisle. Eventually, at Newcastle, I was told by an LNER representative that since trains now appeared to be running on the Carlisle route, inter-availability of tickets was no longer in practice, and I would have to wait for the next LNER London train, which wasn't due for another 45 minutes. My pre-planned schedule for the day had to be abandoned.